Hey, this is Ron with Durham Spine Upholstery in Southern California. How you doing? Hey, listen, today I want to talk about my uh, Chicago Electric Multipurpose Sharpener. Got it at Harbor Freight for 39 bucks. I've caught, caught, been catching a little bit of little bit of grief online because everybody said, oh, it's a cheap one, piece of junk, blah, blah, blah. You know what? This thing sharpens up some scissors pretty good. Uh, if you've done it on some chisels, haven't done it on the drill bit yet, but it does all that stuff. Basically what it is, just composed of a little grinding wheel. The motor's not that powerful, but it works. Um, grinding wheel's a little bit coarse, but the more you use it, the uh, the smoother it gets. Uh, the more filled in it gets, it gets broken in. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to sharpen some scissors, okay? I probably got about a dozen pair laying around the shop because they get to a point where they're just really hard to to do okay this might take a little while too i did but i'll make this quick as i can i just want to show you here the, these things are they, they just don't want to cut okay they're pretty bad all right i have no idea how this is going to turn out but we're going to do it anyway all right first thing you got to do i oh, my scissors you got to take them apart so you can get them done right Well, that one came apart pretty hard. Must have been sitting for many, many years. Or now it looks like I might have put some uh, thread seal on it or something. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, so here we go. First thing you want to do is you want to clean them off. You can use some lacquer thinner. You can use some goof off, which I have right here. Uh, basically, you just want to do this. You don't want to get gunk on. You don't want to be getting gunk on your grinding wheel, okay? Try to keep that. Um, if you've got some rust on it, maybe get some rust off before you do this. Clean them up the best you can. And I'm doing this real quick. If I was doing this, uh, you know, for real, um, you know, I, I would take my time at it probably. But uh, doing it real quick for the video so you don't lose interest or, you know, get hungry and got to go get a snack or something. I don't know. So, and we'll just see if you can see the edge of this thing. Um, where, where is it? Oh, there we go. Uh, just over the years, just sharpen them down on the stone. You know, they just... They just get they just get messed up. Okay, now I do want to I do want to show you a little bit something about about scissors. Um, if you look, see they don't they're not exactly straight. Okay, they've got a little curve to them. Okay, and that's so as it gets out under the end, uh, they're a little springier, a little thinner. So if they were straight, they wouldn't cut anything the last little bit of it. Okay, so um, sometimes that those get straightened out. Then you got to take them and whack them with a little hammer a little bit, give them a little bit of a bend to it, and then also. You really can't tell, but they're actually kind of concave a little bit like this on, on this surface, okay? And again, that just helps to keep that edge nice and sharp, get that really nice sharp edge, just a little bit of a, be a bevel, so they're beveling into each other and they cut really well. So anyway, this is about all there is to it. I do want to show you, um, I had to make this right here a little bit bigger, if you can see, um, because the scissors have to be able to fit down in there okay and these are made i think for little home scissors that that don't have that don't need as much clearance right in here so i just probably took file or some tin snips or i don't whatever anyway i did something to to make that bigger okay so these fit in attachments go in like this you just turn it on it's kind of quiet i'm just going to run three four passes through here um also if you see this is this is beveled right here so as you're holding your scissors in you just kind of hold it right on the plate, like like so, and, and pull it. You don't need a lot of pressure. That was my fourth pass. I'm going to do it one more time. Last time, you don't put quite as much pressure on it because you just kind of want to just kind of put that nice finish edge on it. 
you're never really putting a lot of pressure on it, okay? That was five for each one. And if you really want to check the edge, use it on your fingernail like this. And if you scrape a little, if you can tell, there it is right there. You can scrape a little bit of your fingernail off, then, then you probably got, it's probably sharp, okay? So we're just going to put these things back together. Uh, let's see here. Oh, one more thing before we start. This edge right here, if you feel it, it's going to be, it'll have a little bit of a burr to it. Okay, so we have to take that burr off. Okay, now, remember I talk, told you before about how it's got that little bit of a concave to it? So you got to be really careful on that edge. If you take too much of that edge off, you're never going to be able to sharpen these scissors up where they'll work. Okay, so you can do this a couple ways. I have a fine, um, easy lap diamond stone. Okay, they make a very fine one also. So you can take this if you're really, really careful, okay? And you can just go like this, take that little burr off, okay? But like you said, you gotta be really, really careful because once you take that last little bit of that concave off, you'll never be able to get them sharp. So the other way of doing it, you can just use a, what we call a strop. It's just a leather, just a piece of leather I'm using the back side. Just draw it across. And that's probably a little better way of doing it. And sharpening scissors, yeah, that's probably a little more complicated than that, okay? But this is the basics, all right? Yeah, all right. You want to see what it does? Here we go. Right there. How about that? 40 bucks. Not a very expensive sharpener, not the greatest, not the most powerful. 40 bucks. I just saved a $36 pair of scissors. Okay, give it a try. This is Ron with Durham's Fine Upholstery in Southern California. Thanks for watching.